Race number five is the first leg of the six up at Chartin uh, on Sunday. It is also a class four over the 1200 metres with two horses making their debuts. Excellent chariot isn't though, he takes the class drop. He's won twice in this grade in the past. Both his wins, in actual fact, in this class. Jade Phoenix was the last start course and distance winner. Whiskey Neat should roll forward. We've seen him mostly of late at, uh, at Happy Valley. Uh, Blissful Star, just the one run. It was a good one behind family folks, finishing fourth. Sea Bingo and Simple Doctrine are the debutants. Tronic Might has had one start. Solid fourth to Jade Phoenix. We're down to Victoria General. First up since January, Victoria General. And then Zayshan uh, with the blinkers on for the first time. And Day Day Rich from Barrier 5, I would imagine, would roll forward under... Dylan Moe. Would that be the case? Uh, Tom, he's just behind the speed of natural fact. Yeah, just behind uh, Jade Phoenix and Whiskey Neat, but I think probably Whiskey Neat will uh, prevail uh, to lead here from gate number three for uh, Alfred Chan and uh, lead probably on his own. Jade Phoenix won't be far away. Day Day Rich excellent chariot. Trotic Mighty uh, went forward first up, but it's drawn awkward here in the gate number 12. Smart Wong Choi is another one that can be handy. Zashian there on the inside. And then horses like Cordy, except King co-partner Ambition, Victoria General getting back. But there's two on debut here in, in the field of 14. Eight have had three runs or less. Mm, so there might be some flies in the ointment, so to speak. But we'll start off, uh, Paul, with excellent Chariot taking the class drop. It's been key for him in the past. Yeah, and look, he's a two-time winner in this grade. Uh, is uh, excellent Chariot, and uh, I'm going to take a chance with him. I think he can get himself into a nice position here. Uh, coming into this grade is the right, and he just showed he's back to a little bit of form. I thought this is coming out of a really strong form race as well. It wasn't a bad run at all. You've got the Hulk down on the inside who's uh, since been able to uh, come out and win again, so uh, he's uh, figuring in my numbers uh, there as well. Drop in grade I think is uh, key, and he's got a decent enough uh, record both in this grade and to course and distance, so looks like a nice ride in the end for Harry Bentley. It certainly does. Uh, yeah, riding here for Ricky Yu. Uh, what about Jade Phoenix, though, as far as winning form is uh, concerned, Tom Smart, uh, Wong Choi, and Tronic Mighty, I didn't mind this day, he's still lightly raced. And look, he, look, uh, he, he finally was able to break, break through on this occasion, uh, Jade Phoenix. It looks like, uh, well, it did look like Rhapsody was going to have his measure, but to his credit, he fought back. Of course, Rhapsody's been able to since come out and win at Happy Valley. Didn't think there was too much wrong with the, the run of Smart Wong Choi. I wanted to keep Tronic Mighty safe because I liked him on debut. Ryder lost the whip over the last 100 metres. He's just drawn awkwardly this time, Paul. Yeah, that was a query with uh, Tronic Mighty. I thought Smart Wong Choi, look, he's been running consistently, and Jade Phoenix, uh, he'd been really consistent without winning, and he finally got his uh, nose in front. OK, Blissful Star, uh, another one of these lightly raced horses. Uh, Paul just had the one start here. This was behind family folks at Happy Valley. Yeah, so he's now coming. Zach Purden rode him, and he was uh, double-figure price at 11s on debut. Uh, he hit the line strongly enough. He now comes to the big roomier track at Chartin. He's by power. Uh, barrier number two, so you'll definitely have a supporter. I didn't quite fit him in though. Yeah, I think he would have learned a bit from that first up experience under lights there at Happy Valley. You could see he was a little bit green, not sure of what to do in the straight, but I think he's certainly an improver in the contest. What about C Bingo, Tom? Comes to the race course for the first time on the back of 10 trials for John Size. And we've seen a lot of horses of John Size's have uh, plenty of trials and uh, they come out and uh, normally they do run well on debut. Now he's got some gate speed, he was pushed at uh, over the last 150 metres or so in this uh, barrier trial. 1,236 pounds, 425,000 out of the Magic Million uh, yearling sale. He's probably worth keeping safe, Paul, in terms of triple trio tickets, but I didn't have him in the top four. Yeah, that was, yeah, Barrier 13 just put me off a little bit. And he's, he's by Sebring out of a high chaparral mare, so you'd think in time he's going to want further anyway. OK, well, he's on debut. Copa and Ambition's had a couple of starts so far for Chris So. Jockey Vincent Ho will be riding him on the weekend. And in race number five, you ride co-partner Ambition. So good on debut, not quite as good the second time. Did you know early in that second start that he wasn't the same horse as his debut? It was a little bit disappointed, but, you know, he's still young and up in distance, uh, you know, could, could have a little bit of uh, issue for young horses maybe. But, uh, you know, he, he come along well and... Uh, I think Mr. So took time with him uh, and let him have a few trials, um, mature up with with some gear changes. Uh, hopefully, help. And uh, you know his form is good, so hopefully he'll perform perform much better than than last time. Those two trials that he has had, did he feel more like the horse from the first start in those two trials? Yeah, definitely. Uh, even you know with, with the gear change it. It makes him more concentrated. You know, he, he tend to change legs quite a lot uh, when when going for trials and even in the run. But uh, with, with with the chickpeas, he, he seems 
pretty concentrated and, and uh, yeah, had perfect gear change. Wednesday night, you brought up season win 50. Congratulations on that with Arla King. It must, uh, must be a season you look back on fondly. Thank you. Yeah, it took me a while to get a 50, 49 or 50. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully uh, after this, after that will be better. Yeah. Do you take much time to reflect on the group ones or that'll be something you do in the off season? Uh, not yet, <laughs> the off season, you know, still, still a couple of months to go. So. Oh, he's got plenty to look back on as well. Still plenty to look forward as well. That's uh, Vincent with co-partner Ambition. No one's on favourite here, Paul. No, this one's tricky as well. I'm going towards the top of the page here, though. I'm going to go with uh, Excellent Chariot on top. The downgraded horse has two-time winner in the in the grade. Whiskey Neat's been consistent without winning. He's still a 24-start maiden, but the second last time or behind uh, Diamond Brilliant was good. Uh, Jade Phoenix, he's the last start winner, so we'll put him in there for third. And Smart Wong Choi, another consistent horse. One, three, two, twelve. A little outside the square here with number 10, Cordyceps King for Danny Schumann, Matthew Poon. Drawn gate 14, so that's not ideal, but uh, look, he got his head onto the side a little bit in his most recent barrier trial and he finished off well enough. He was hard ridden early last start, but did close off quite OK out wider. That was first up. He's dropped 27 pounds since then. So 10 to beat one excellent uh, chariot, Jade Phoenix and Tronic Mighty. So 10, 1, 2 and 8. The one and the two, I think the obvious numbers uh, there as far as the fifth is concerned. Mine from outside the square as well, Victoria General from a good gate, Blake Shin in the saddle, first up from a long break. First leg of the six up, second leg of the TT, that's race number five.